हेलो नमस्ते सलाम वालेकुम सत श्रीकाल वेलकम बैक टू अनदर सेशन विथ योर वॉश ऑफ एट वारेवा डॉट कॉम टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू हाउ टू मेक चिकन वॉन्टन्स यस ऑसम ऑसम चाइनीज प्रिपरेशन वी ऑल लव इट बट वेन यू मेक एट होम दे आर मच मोर टेस्ट यर एंड वेरी वेरी ईजी एंड टेस्ट सो लेट्स गोइड एंड लर्न हाउ टू मेक दिस सो डियर फ्रेंड्स फर्स्ट टू मेक दिस वॉन्टन्स आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू हाउ टू मेक द वॉन्टन शीट्स यूजिंग हॉट डो मेथड सो इट्स वेरी ईजी so let's go ahead and learn how to make this for this you're going to take this is all purpose flour that is maida in this we're going to add corn starch the corn flour you know just half of it and in this we're going to add some butter preferably some melted butter in this add pinch of salt already the butter has little bit so watch out in this pour in hot water little at a time and make this dough oh, oh this is very hot but that's okay i can manage that's it and make this into a you know medium stiff dough not too soft not too tough okay i think that should be good enough and we are going to see what this hot water does is this kind of uh, kills the kind of gluten formation and will be very easy to roll the dough knead the dough and we're going to let it rest for 5 minutes now first let's learn how to make this uh, chicken mixture and this take mince chicken just take the chicken mince and make this into a nice paste in this we're going to first add til seed oil okay this is going to make this chicken nice and juicy because i've got uh, lean meat to make this and in this we're going to add very little salt because we're going to add some soy sauce and other sauces and in this if you want you can also add flavoring salt that is msg and in this add finely chopped cabbage okay that's okay this is optional but if you add it will taste very nice in this add egg yolk okay this also will give a very nice taste to your preparation in this add some soy sauce some hoisin sauce okay these are all uh, store bought very easily you can get them and add and in case if you don't have one of the ingredients don't worry even if you don't add it's okay in this add chopped coriander lot of it makes it much more tasty add some finely chopped spring onion some crushed pepper you can add vegetables like a finely chopped carrot to give it a nice uh, taste and texture also add finely chopped green chili and now the main ingredients finely chopped uh, ginger and finely chopped garlic now after you add all of this just mix this very nicely in fact i always prefer to Uh, mix it with uh, hands okay so that's okay now just make sure you mix nicely this uh, oil makes it nice juicy and uh, uh, very tasty especially use til seed oil in this i'm going to add just one uh, teaspoon of water that will also add good moisture now the mixture is all ready we already have the dough that is a hot uh, water dough and we're going to put this mixture and we're going to convert them into awesome wontons you know look at this it's very easy and or else you can make them into one sheet and cut them rounds or else just uh, make them thin like this whichever way you want this one all will look similar shape this one will look you know little uh, odd shapes but this one will be more crispy now we're going to take some water and just wet the edges inside this puts this chicken stuffing and seal them like this okay very simple seal and one edge just touch with water and then just fold them this way okay now your wonton is ready you can make uh, any of the shapes if you want you can also take a small round like this and just wet the edges and put in this chicken mixture just seal them like this Okay, then just take the water droplet, put it on one of the edge, and then just pull them together and seal them like this. Look at this, how nice and easy to make them. Okay, once you make all these wontons, and we're going to fry them in hot oil. These chicken wontons need to go into hot oil to fry, and that's okay. You know, till fry them till they are nicely golden, and wow, look at them, look at them. you know they'll float like little flowers now look at them 
these chicken wontons. We're going to fry them till they are nice and golden and the inside chicken will be nicely cooked and outside it will be nice and crispy. Now look at them. They are nice and golden. Now these are all ready but time to taste. Look at these uh, uh, wontons, chicken wontons and I'm just going to break one and show you inside. The chicken is all cooked and perfect but the outside is nice and crunchy. Just dip it in any sauce you like and enjoy them. Mm. Wow. Nice crunchy. Mm. Just perfect. Difference. You know. I hope you enjoyed today's session of learning these simple wontons. A little bit Indianized and you will thoroughly enjoy it. But do not forget. Whatever is all about inspiring others to go. So please post your recipes and cooking tips at whatever.com so others can benefit from your great cooking. Mm.